Strike forces. Probably the 5th Donegal. That's my old unit. Why would our own forces attack us? It was inevitable. Everything has changed. Sigma Lance. Form up on my lead. Central Guard is Sigma Lance Leader. We're moving out. We have the Royal Family aboard. We can't lift off until those Sam Lances are taken out. Incoming LRMs, get clear! Look out! Get out of the hangar! Get a track of those damn launchers! I got track! Take him out! Impact! Nice shot, Sig 2. All right, on my mark. We break off and hit the central courtyard. We'll go back and try to regroup. Incoming. Active by AMS. Sir, I got my right out. Oh my! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sig 2, this is Lance Leader. Do you read? Karras! Can you hear me? Central Guard, is Sigma Leader. What's your status? Command, this is Sigma Leader. I've lost contact with Central Guard. Enemy receiving unit. I have contact with main enemy force inside Central Courtyard. I'll delay them here as long as I can. So cheesy. By the way, I hate having a close button over here. Uh, it's annoying as hell. Anyways, we're playing Mech 4. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why I skipped Mech 3 in a minute. Uh, so we got third person view in this one. This one, that's pretty new. Uh, no cheats on regular difficulty because I'm not that great at mech games, to be honest. Um, there's no subtitles, so I'm going to try and just be quiet whenever they're talking. And that, that's basically it. So let's get going. My son, I wish these did not have to be my final words to you. I must try to make up for years and only a few minutes while this message can still be sent. I've often regretted the words that I spoke when I sent you away. I don't want them to be the last that you hear from me. 
I was acting as a duke, not a father. I feared you'd bring dishonor to the family name. I was wrong. You may have thought yourself forgotten, but you've never been far from my thoughts. I've followed your deeds in the clan wars. You have done nothing but bring honor to your name and made me proud to be your father. If you could find it within yourself to forgive me, I'd hope to ask you to return home. Now there's no time. Because I stood against Katrina Steiner when she betrayed her promises and seized control of the Commonwealth. Our world is to be made an example to the Dukes who stood with me in resisting her. They're seizing Katares. They've sent a strike force. It's only a matter of time before they breach the castle defenses. Your brothers, your sister, by the time you get this, I'm sure that we'll all be dead. Stay away from Katares, Ian. Your Uncle Peter commands in the 4th Davian Guard off the planet. As long as he takes no action against her, Katrina won't risk moving against him. Go to him. Live on and bear our name proudly. My son, I have always loved you. And I am very, very proud of the man that you have become. Bye. Did you find the bodies? Do we know for certain they're all dead? Steiner executed everyone at the castle who survived the initial attack. We don't know where they're buried. We don't believe anyone escaped. I know what you must be feeling, Ian. But your father's wishes were always for honor and justice, never for revenge. Justice? My family's been killed, Peter. All but you. Whoever killed them deserves to be dead, too. But we have more important tasks first. We have to break Steiner's grip on Kentari's Four, then remove your cousin William from the throne and restore legal rule. William? He's only a puppet, Ian. Steiner controls your home world. Our forces are small, but if we show the people they can fight back, I know they'll join with us in free Cantares. So, if you're your father's son, you'll get suited up. Our first strike must be now, before they discover we're here. So cheesy. I hate live action cutscenes. Especially, do you even notice compression quality? Holy shit. It's like the early YouTube days. Yeah, it's kind of funny because that sort of looks like me, except not quite. Alright, so we got a Shadow Cat. Shadow Cat's kind of low ass, but you know. So here's our Shadow Cat. Uh, take out the jump jets. So the kind of nice thing about this game's uh, customization is that you got uh, basically um, slots, like green is for, um, for missile based weapons, uh, yellow is ballistics, and red is energy. And I might as well go put that. Those jump jets back on because there's. I just realized there's no freaking point. And it actually describes what things are like Beagle Active Probe, generally attached to scout or, uh, sorry, um, increases sensor range and decreases missile lock on time and, and shit like that. Anyways, uh, let's let's put on some nice um, war paint or whatever. Yellow. Yeah, now I look like a fucking piss. I don't even know. Alright, uh, I want like a black mech because those are those look fucking sick. Anyways, yeah, so I, I was originally a <laughs> giraffe. <laughs> uh, let's see, charcoal. We're, I just uh, ops charcoal. Uh, I want that. I want a complete black. I was in mech three. Not in this one. Panzer. Uh, uh it looks kind of cool. Saber. What the hell is this? I like I like how I'm doing this right now. Steiner Desert. Hexed. Ooh, I look like the Canadian uh, mech. I don't even know. Okay, well, I, I don't want to delay you guys too much further. I'm going to apologize in advance. There's going to be a lot of cutting points, which is like in the middle. Oh, that looks kind of cool. There's going to be a lot of cutting points that are that are in the middle of the of the, the playthrough. And as I said, I apologize greatly in advance. Um, I'm going to just briefly talk about the armor like this. So you get the... 
you get this one, this one's the standard armor, and then you get reactive, which is effective against ammunition, and reflective against uh, laser. This is mostly because reactive is better in coal, in, in hot environments, because they're going to be using more ammunition weapons than reflective is against uh, uh, lasers. No, this is cold environments, this is hot environments. And then this is like all around, so I, I'm, I mostly just do the all around stuff. I, I'm not too much into this. And then, yeah, so you get to choose what slots you want for all your different weapons. You don't have to, you don't actually have to do ammunition anymore. You do have to do it here, but ammunition is no longer a problem as far as I, uh, as far as I know. And uh, you do heat sinks like this. It just distributes it automatically. It's actually a very simplified way. This is the one thing that was good that they simplified, because it was honestly, it was, it was such a piece of shit uh, in the other games. So, let's go and fucking clan machine gun array. Alright, let's put this over here, and the missiles over here. Because the hotkeys are also kind of screwy. But I can, I can manage this. So there's me. Let's go launch. Hi, gentlemen. We're about to start a war. Ahead of us is the main comm relay station. It's lightly defended, and should be a piece of kit. Destroy it, and all Steiner communications with Kentarius 4 are cut off. Expect light point defenses only. Move in fast and vaporize everything that isn't a rock. Except each other, that is. Yes, except each other. He and your lance mate on this mission is Casey Knowles. You learn to ignore him. The rest of us do. Casey, the shadow cat to your right is my nephew. And your future duke. Try to show him more respect than you do me. Don't think that will be a problem, sir. Those towers are the communication relays. We better take them out first. It may take heavier weapons to bring them down. Okay, this is by the way an eight, a brilliant 800 by 600 resolution. Hey, we're taking fire. Looks like we've got some LRMs to deal with. It's really hard for me to aim in this game, by the way. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. But I'm I'm so far not doing a bad job. It's, I haven't played this for a very long time. But anyways, um, oh good, it's giving me the tutorial, just what I needed. So keep your speed up and uh. Oh, Medium light mech. Stepped in some Steiner. <laughs> stepped in some Steiner. This is this is awesome, awesome uh, 800 by 600 resolution shit because uh, game doesn't run well otherwise. But it's uh, whoopsies. Should not hit the wall. And uh, it's mostly because if I don't, then it's going to be changing Target resolutions because the menus are in 800 by 600. I don't have much of a choice there. Should maybe try and lock on to something before I use the uh, Ouch. SRM like, like that. Lasers. Not much punch, but there's enough of them to do some damage. Omega Lance, we show Target vehicles moving destroyed. outward from facility. Target Neutralize destroyed. all mobile units. They might warn other Steiner forces. Roger that, Control. I thought these guys were supposed to be tough. Must have been something good in that one. Probably just O2 venting off. But try not to get too close to the explosions. You might catch some shrapnel. Yeah, dialogue is extremely cheesy, but you know, I'll let you listen to it anyways. In case you're in case you're watching this for a storyline, I'm that game for the story. The only story I liked was in Mercs. There's there's three games of this actually, and I'm so I'm starting off with this one. Uh whoops. I missed. So we're this has third person, which is actually quite nice. Oh, there we go. What the hell? There we go. Now I can fly. Anyways, yeah, so the whole reason I didn't do Mech 3 was because uh, it was buggy. Did I get that one? No. That's one. It was really bad at times. Like, it crashed a lot. Uh, my sound my sound was out of sync constantly. Um, it was pretty freaking bad, actually. And so I decided 10 parts in about to scrap it. I was near the end, and I decided it wasn't, it wasn't worth it. I didn't actually really like the game all that much, surprisingly enough. Uh, you know, I, I didn't have those nostalgia goggles on or whatever, so... I, I scrapped it. Omega Lance, this is Rathbone. We show all communications neutralized. Primary objective complete. Good work, gentlemen. Oh, Steiner, fall down, go boom! Alright, that's it. Good work, everyone. Let's get back to base. Control, this is Omega Lead. Mission accomplished. Roger, Omega Lead. Return to base heading 175. Omega support, mobilize salvage units and sweep operational area. 
Window two hours, twenty minutes. Beautiful run. Nothing wakes me up like a little Steiner stomping party. Okay, so we get to watch this for a little bit. There we go. So I get to see... Oh, look, there we go. Component salvage. So some nicer weapons and stuff. So, so no longer have to right, manage this. we've bloodied their noses, even if they won't know it right away. With communications cut, we'll be able to move in secrecy for a while. From here on, I want you to take a command role with the team. They need to start seeing you as their leader. So I'd like you to determine our next mission and get us set up. I've uploaded our TAC officer's operational overview. It's simple enough. Steiner only left a few dropships behind, and all but one are hangered here on the moon, where it's safe. Before we hit dirt side, we'll need to destroy the dropships to cripple the mobility of Steiner's defensive forces. We also have to raid additional supplies from some of the remaining lunar facilities. They're undefended. The only threat to those raids are Steiner mobile artillery units. They'll have to be neutralized before we can start our raiding operations. All right. I've asked Carl Sontag, our technical officer, to configure mechs for the missions. Now Carl's a good man, and one hell of an engineer. Your father used to say, give Carl a hundred tons of steel wool, and he'll knit you an atlas overnight. Change the loadouts if you want to, but I doubt you'll improve on his choices. We're all waiting for your orders, Ian. I know you're up to the challenge. Yes? Good news. Tactical just informed me that the techs have pulled Steiner encryption codes out of the mess we left behind at the comm facility. We'll be able to intercept enemy communications, some of them anyway. We should also be able to locate other pockets of resistance. We should start getting some useful information in the next few hours. I'll keep you updated. Hello, Carl. It's been a long time. I didn't know if you'd remember me. I served your father for a long time, but the last time I saw you, you were a boy. Duke Eric was a fine man and a great leader. We will miss him. I will miss him. He would have wanted better for you, but I'll give you the best I can. I've modified our mechs by stripping out some of the heat sinks. The heat dissipation in this environment is so efficient, they'd just be erased. You won't need much speed for these missions, so I've added extra armor, just in case. Not much weaponry to choose from yet, but that will change soon enough. Bring in any good weapons or material as salvage, and I will keep you ready to fight. I kept your father's mechs in shape for him. I'll do the same for you, young Grisari. Okay, so there's this tiny screen shit that goes on, uh, which is which is absolutely great. Pulse laser, small laser, goddamn. Do I have it? Oh, I got an AC5. That's much better than the other crap I have right now. Get rid of some small laser. Extended range large laser. Uh, I would really like to get this AC5 in. I sh we'll have to sacrifice some things. Maybe I'll just do this. Sea Strike 5 is nice, but this is even nicer. Uh, okay. That'll be nice. Mmm. I would actually like the Sea Strike, but I can do. SRM 2 is just like gonna just fucking. not gonna do a thing. This is kinda nice though, so if I'm gonna kill other mechs, I, I would want to actually do it with this. I'm not gonna need that. There we go. And I'll put maybe another pulse laser on somewhere. If I have more pulse lasers. Maybe not. There we go. Oh, this is Omni, by the way. This means I can put anything in here. It's kind of, it's actually quite nice. Uh, oh, what? I have these jump jets on. What the fuck am I thinking? No, get, get out of here. Alright. Uh, is that... Where's this in? This is my right torso. Okay. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool to put that over here. Can I put that over there? No. There we go. Because then it's my left arm, so I feel like a badass. Uh, available tonnage. Well, we can get a, uh, clan AMS. Okay. This is a anti-missile system. So if they fire missiles at me, uh, I'll, I'll be ready for it. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, armor's all good. 
Um, uh, I'd prefer to have the one heatsink. All right, we will save it or close it. Yes, and then it allows me to change it, and that's that looks good. All right, so let's get going. I like I like the tiny screen though. It's save on fucking CD space. I'll watch it anyways. So I can drop during the day or night. Uh, sometimes you can do nut, nut. Sometimes doing a night op is better. I don't even know. All right. Nap point alpha, whatever. I don't even know what the hell. What's this do? Destroy all combat weak. That's it. All right. This is Omega Control. Omega support, standby position. Omega launch. The mobile launchers you need to neutralize should be somewhere in the ravine. You may encounter them at any point along your sweep pattern, so maintain active radar and move to nav point alpha. Sweep and destroy any units you encounter in the ravine. Roger Control, moving to nav point alpha. Roger Control, radar active. Display set to maximum range. We'll run the pattern and ice anything we find. Good luck. Thanks, Major. Lieutenant Chisari, let's do it. Roger that, Omega-2. It's Gonzalez, sir. Roger that, Gonzalez. Sensors online. Weapons systems online. All functioning systems nominal. This doesn't happen on startup and shutdown, though. Uh, if you guys remember from friggin' uh, Mech, uh, Mech 2, uh, Mercs, that one had the sir, coolest startup and shutdown ever. Mech. Must be an escort. Let's take him out. Where's my radar? radar off. Passive sensors engaged. Active radar engaged. Target there we go. destroyed. There we go. We got we got an incoming mech here. It's such a pain in the ass to go hit him. This is what makes the missiles actually extremely hard to use. Here I can go I can go inside the cockpit actually. See if this makes a difference. We Hey, cool. It actually goes pretty. Fast. It's because my mech is so damn fast. I actually prefer it, uh, me being inside the mech, uh, outside the mech, because I can see I can see outside of it really well. But you see what happens when I wow I don't actually need to lock on with this. I didn't even realize that. Dude, he, he he's not even hitting me. The the problem with though having. A pulse laser. Target destroyed. Oh god. Oh god. No god. Uh. <laughs> you don't want to be beside them when you're taking damage Target like that. Destroyed. Target Target one launch. Destroyed. Let's Target nail the other one. Destroyed. Looks like they got a lot of ammo on board those things. We better stay clear of the blast or we may take some damage. Target destroyed. Good Nav piece of advice. Alpha reached. Oh dear. Alright. Target destroyed now there's no um, in in mech 3 there's something called MFBs which you get Target a lighter destroyed. repair anytime you want during the mission you don't get those here anymore they were kind of cheap though to begin with because to be honest it was it was really kind of irritating in a way because you were literally watching Target me play destroyed. and I would just go like oh I'm gonna go down to the uh, uh, the fucking uh, MFB because I, I you know you have it you might as well repair it and it's like it's kind of like a regenerating health mechanic for a mech game and it honestly wasn't that great, and and it was actually a lot slower than this. This is actually a really fast uh, mech mech game. They've actually the speed is perfect. Uh, you know, it feels like uh, destroy all enemies at nav point beta. Got kind of contact ahead, sir. Um, it feels perfect in a way because it's it's fast enough. Uh, I'm using a medium. I think this is a light mech actually. I I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know my mechs to be honest. Uh, it's it's something in between. I know it's not the lightest you can get. Uh, I, I I don't really know. It's got it's just got like good all around mobility and everything. Um, it's not a bad mech, but as I said, I'm gonna get into the heavier stuff later. But I find locking on with missiles really hard to freaking do. Now it gets interesting. Enemy detected. All right, go Target kill him. Destroyed. Just gonna take out the artillery launcher. Target destroyed. Oh dear God! And and this Osiris is definitely a light mech. 
But um, it was it was actually really bad. Uh, it was mostly because the the freaking it just the, there was like so many crashing and everything. It just wasn't meant to run under Windows Seven, and I couldn't even get the music out. I know like you don't hear any music right now. Mech games Mech games aren't really known for their music. I didn't actually know the streak SRM locks on like this. Oh, you hit me, you son of a bitch. There we go. Wow, my heat, my heat management is actually really good here. I know he said that, but... Oh, I missed. Target destroyed. It's fun that we're both kind of ripping him. And the mobility on these mechs are, is actually much, much higher. Like, it... it Actually goes where you want it to, opposed to from mech whatever. Roger Gonzalez. I think we got them all. Control, this is Omega One. We've run the pattern. All units neutralized. Roger, Omega One. Good work. Return to base. Omega support begins salvage operations. See if there's any ammo to recover. Carl can use anything we could possibly repair. Window, three hours. Roger, Control. Starting salvage operations. Epsilon 2 sweeps complete. You're clear to begin operations at Thorless Basin. Roger, Control. Moving out. Look how that truck didn't even have moving wheels. Good work, Lieutenant. Pleasure working with you. Same here, Gonzalez. I'm happy with any mission I can walk back from. Roger. Gonzalez. Alright. Well, I did most of that. Ooh, LRM-10. Nice.